Hey everybody, welcome back. Wanted to give everybody a little bit of an update. I know some people have been asking about uh, when exactly we're going to be moving. And we've had a couple setbacks, uh, some things that we're waiting on. And I don't know if we're going to make it by the end of the year, but we might, we may still. But we will give everybody an update when we kind of know more, when we have a more concrete date in mind. But uh, we're still holding out hope for the end of the year, but uh, we're kind of in a holding pattern right now, waiting on some, some things. But uh, everything's going well, and somebody commented on one of our last videos that we still had quite a bit of furniture in our house, and they were wondering about, you know, why we haven't gotten rid of it all yet. So basically the thing is we're still using all of our furniture because mm -hmm. we're, we're still in the house and we're going to be there for a little while yet mm -hmm. so since we don't know exactly how long we really hate to get rid of too much but we've gotten rid of a lot of clutter i guess yeah knickknacks Knick cecile's done a lot of cleaning out of the closets things like that so we've gotten rid of a lot of things Picture already frames. yeah we took some things off the walls things that we knew no matter when we move, we knew we weren't going to take with us. That's yeah. kind of what we're getting rid of right now. So going through all the decorations and clothes and all that kind yeah. of stuff. Uh, we've hung on to a little bit of our winter clothes just in case we need them. And it is kind of getting to that time of year when it's going to start turning cold. So we have held on to a few things, but we've gotten rid of a lot also. So I guess the main point I want to talk about is how you go about getting rid of all your stuff because you think about an entire house full of furniture and clothes and dishes this, and you know everything mm -hmm. display items that you have your tools tools or, garage yeah. full of stuff there's a lot of stuff mm -hmm. to consider getting rid of and the way we kind of approach it is if it's mostly i would say 95 percent of our stuff if it's too big to fit in a ballot buying box we're not taking it yeah. right we've made some larger size ballot buying boxes we've put you know two or three boxes together uh, to fit something large inside or we've bought some large items and left them in the box they came in mm -hmm. and sent them that way which you can do also but um anything big pretty much is not going with us. We may end up taking our televisions because they're fairly new and it would cost us a decent amount to replace them compared to shipping them. So we may send our televisions, but for the most part, all of our furniture we're getting rid of and any bulky items. Would we like to bring some of that stuff? Yeah, I would like to bring some of our outdoor furniture um maybe a little bit of our furniture inside the house i know cecile would love to bring her vanity but it's just it's too expensive too to ship those things and dangerous to and ship yeah with your vanity we're kind of worried it's going to get broken because yeah. it's glass glass mirror and it's not just a regular mirror it's a mirror that has the sockets where the bulbs go inside yeah. the mirror so you know it's if it gets cracked or something there's no fixing it really or be hard to fix so things like that for sure will not go but mm -hmm. um, the way that we're kind of approaching everything on furniture when it comes time to go or gets close to time to go we're going to let anybody family member uh, take whatever they want of our furniture mm -hmm. they can have it and then whatever they don't want will be donated to Salvation Army or uh, disabled veterans or uh, Habitat for Humanity just any charity that picks up furniture can come and get it and I really think our furniture could be gone in a week if we knew you know we're leaving at the end of this week we need to really start moving this furniture out. I think we could get rid of it pretty quickly. So I don't, even though our house still has a lot of furniture items in it, I don't think it'd take long to, to get, get rid, rid of it that way because we're not trying to sell a bunch of our stuff. 
Yeah. We're not planning to have a garage sale. Uh, you could if you knew in advance uh, when you're going and you have plenty of time, you could do it that way. But for us, it's probably going to be more of a sudden thing where, okay, we're ready now, let's go, get rid of everything and leave. And we would just give up whatever money we would make by selling our furniture. But I don't think we would make that much anyway. Um, and then the time you have to deal with trying to sell your furniture and, and things, it's just not as easy as it sounds probably a lot of people don't want to buy used furniture yeah. so for us we're just going to get rid of it we we haven't bought any new furniture lately last several years because we knew we were going to be moving at some point so we don't have any new expensive furniture or anything like that um so we'll get rid of it pretty quickly i think and uh, everything else will go with us so that's kind of why, you know, you still see a lot of stuff maybe in our house because we still don't know exactly when we're leaving and we're still using everything. <laughs> mm -hmm. And what about all your kitchen stuff? Are you planning on taking much of that with you? No. Not really? Mm -hmm. Don't really have anything? Like the blender, the air fryer, we mm -hmm. just... Donate it or donate give it away. or throw it away. Yeah, so we're kind of looking at it as like we're starting over when we get there. Yeah. We have a lot of these things in our house there already mm -hmm. um, and you know we just really want almost a, a clean break and, and a fresh start. We'll buy things there. If it's something really expensive that we're gonna want to hang on to we'll ship it but mm -hmm. you just have to make the decision of yeah. what you want to keep and what you don't yeah. want to keep. Mm -hmm. and a lot of it comes down to how much does it cost to replace those items. So we've done a lot I of get thought rid of about some that. of our uh, dishes. Yeah, we've already gotten rid of some of the dishes yeah. because we had a lot. <laughs> we yeah. still have a lot, but <laughs> so the, yours, you have a lot of uh, jar. Mason for drinking. jars. Yeah. <laughs> You're using that for drinking because of the tea. Yeah. So a lot of that stuff will either get donated or thrown out, and you know because we're going to be trying to do it quickly. So, yeah. so that's kind of the plan. Uh, it's hard to decide when you're moving like that. Mm -hmm. When you're moving your entire family overseas, it's hard to take much with you. Um, mm -hmm. Some people do. They'll get a shipping container and ship all their stuff over there. And then you will realize later when you receive it, you don't need it. Yeah, it's maybe so. It's just total waste. Well, it can be, but I think if, if you have really nice furniture that you want to hang on to, oh. maybe it's worth sending, oh, I guess. Okay. We just don't have, we didn't make a big investment in our furniture here. We don't have any, like a $10,000 table In my opinion, in my opinion, like because we don't need the furniture here because of the, um, the furniture in the Philippines are different. Yeah. So it won't match to our house. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. Yeah, it, everything over there is a little bit different style. The style here, it's more a little bit of uh, antique mm -hmm. stuff we have here. It won't match in the Philippines that we have. Yeah. But some people do just ship everything they have over there. And some people have expensive tools and stuff they want to hang on to, large items. But mm -hmm. it is expensive to do that. It's expensive to ship a mm -hmm. shipping container over there with all your stuff. But... Uh, if it's stuff you just can't part with, I guess maybe it's worth yeah, it. But it's, for us, it's not. Yeah, if it's uh, valuable or too important. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of people... <laughs> You're treasuring that stuff. Yeah, a lot of people have mentioned they have stuff that they kind of have emotional attachment yeah. to. And, and that's another thing I've tried to do is kind of cut the emotional <laughs> attachment to some of the things that we have. And yeah. just, you know, think about it's time to let go of this stuff. And we're just going to start <laughs> like over. Like your, for example, your frames, mm -hmm. your paintings. Yeah. You hate to donate it. Yeah. But it's hard to ship. Yeah. It's pretty big. Yeah, we had some decorations and stuff in the house. And I kind of thought, I'm going to get a bigger box and send this stuff. And then I thought, <laughs> it's not worth the price you of what it's going to cost that, me to right? send it. Yeah. yeah, I had it in bubble wrap and everything. And then we just wind up taking it to Goodwill and giving it away. <laughs> and I think... You have to really try to do that. Try to separate the emotional yeah. aspect of it. And just remember, those are just material things. And yeah, once you get them there to the Philippines, maybe you realize, 
I just don't really match Much, in our house yeah. or I don't have anywhere to put this yeah. or whatever so I should have got rid of it but I've already spent all this money sending it over so Instead now of I've got to use there, it yeah yeah so we're kind of looking at it more like a, a clean sweep you know get rid of everything and start over <laughs> and I kind of like minimalist now I don't like too much of uh, decorations I guess mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So that's kind of the way we're approaching everything and it's you know it's difficult to yeah. to think about that but we did send a few big things but mostly our policy is if it doesn't fit in the ballot buying box it's not going with us mm -hmm. and we'll just replace things over there and you can get a lot of things over there that are nice quality and stuff yeah. like that and stuff stuff is getting more and more available there you Ikea. know especially in manila you can go to manila and shop for all kinds of things. oh yeah they have a lot of uh, uh house furniture there in manila yeah yeah and then people a lot of people like the handmade furniture there you can oh, yeah. get handmade furniture mm -hmm. that's very good quality very nice made out of mahogany wood and things like that very solid durable furniture so mm -hmm. uh, you don't necessarily have to take all your stuff with you so that's kind of what we've been up to and why we're still here and why we're uh, still holding on to all our furniture. <laughs> we got to have something to sleep on and sit on while we're here so we still have all the furniture. But I really think if, if it was time for us to go and we knew we were leaving in two or three weeks, we could get rid of our furniture pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to hang on to it for now. So I just want to give everybody a little bit of an update. Uh, been kind of looking at ticket prices and one way right now from Dallas to Manila uh, about six hundred and thirty dollars I think Korean Airlines is what I was looking I think at Clark mm -hmm. it's six hundred to eight hundred Manila or Dallas to Clark yeah. a little bit higher or was it almost the same? It's almost the same. But the but more more stops, right? You have uh two stops. Two layovers instead of one. So yeah. three flights instead of two. Yeah, two stops. So I don't know. We may go that route this time because Clark is closer to our house. Yeah. But you have that extra flight, you have that extra layover. Yeah. Um so it, we just think, have to think. I don't think that's a long layover. Only one hour, two hours yeah. layover. But our problem also is we're going to have Chanel with us. So I don't know. The fewer the flights, the better, probably. Mm -hmm. So one layover may be better situation bringing her. But yeah, the prices, I guess, are coming down going to Clark. Yeah, but getting, I mean, Christmas. Yeah, once high. you get late November, the prices are going to go up. But... Uh, I was looking at uh, mid to late November, and they were right around 600 and something yeah. for one way. So not bad, not a bad price out of Dallas. If we flew out of Oklahoma City, it costs quite a bit more, or closer to 800 probably. So if you guys are not a subscriber, go ahead and subscribe. We'd love to have you. If you enjoy the videos, give us a thumbs up, and consider becoming a channel member. Now we'll keep you posted on any changes that come up and let you know as soon as we know more about the actual day date of uh, moving leaving the united states so thanks for watching everybody take care and we'll see you on the next video